Well, that just seemed to have taken forever. All right. Well, we're back. Probably won't talk much unless there's people on here, or apparently I get really pissed like I did with Yu-Gi-Oh. Sure. Why not? Um... But, yeah, I'm calling this the uh, first attempt, even though we did it the last episode. We'll just see what we can accomplish, if anything. Let's see. Yeah, I deserve that. I could have and should have. Oh yeah, I was supposed to stay on that one. Yep, too far. Even I knew that. I've tried so many times. That's bullshit. Like, why is that turtle even fucking there? Dude, even this start is a piece of shit. That's a long ways up.
I hate that turtle. So close, guys. Well, we almost had it, but I got really distracted at the end by the time. I don't know if I would have made it though. I gotta check in all honesty. Let's check. One thirteen. I think we would have done it. We wouldn't have got platinum. We had just passed pat platinum, but ah, uh, we would have got gold. Uh, going on now all of a sudden. I can't fucking go around it. Oh, 
Try to re-jump it. If I get on there, I should just accept it. That shit anyway. Wish we'd keep the fricking masks.
Should have jumped on it. I need to start jumping on it. Of course I couldn't.
Fuck, of course I did. Fucking bullshit. Half the time you can spin, you get hit by the motherfucker. And when you try to jump over him, you know, unlike the other ones, it's like, oh, I'm gonna sometimes. No. Of course, I had the gold and I biffed it up because I couldn't land on that final one. It's fine.
bad. Wonderful.
jumped the fuck over it because of course I did. right up. I just want to be done. Almost two episodes of this, even though this is the first actual titled one. Just pissing me off. Why does there have to be a fucking hole in between the islands and the fucking bridge? Every time. Seems to be my most fateful downfall. to hit the second one this time. Come <laughs> on. 
Wow, that's fucking three times in one stream that I've fallen down a fucking patch. Wonderful. Nice, thank you for not getting the fuck off the fucking rope.
getting fucking sick of that. I think after I think after 30 minutes I just don't have it in me to do it I think I lose too much focus or I strain too much but yeah I think after 30 it's just over Oh my God. Bro! 
Hey, Dallas. Getting pissed with this game. Nah, I'm I'm not pissed at this game, but it's just trying to do a time trial. Aggravated, sure, but otherwise, am I doing better? I honestly don't know. How's the weather there? 58? Um, I'll check in a second. Once I lose the time trial, apparently. It is... Fifty-three here. So, not too bad. It's nice enough to go out in this. But... nice out. Yeah, it is. For the most part, I don't mind that it's nice out. The only part I dislike is while I'm trying to stream. This room can get extremely hot. And this gets very sweaty. Forty-nine tomorrow, thirty-six Monday. I heard we're supposed to get a huge uh, rain and rain tonight. Snowstorm tomorrow night. So, or wait, it is Saturday into Sunday. Never mind. I heard it's supposed to rain, and then like horrible snowstorm here later tonight. Otherwise, I I don't know the quite temps for. Uh, the time. Oh god, I hate this. We did it! Snow Monday we getting. Ah.
gold! Yeah, so you must be getting the storm we're getting tonight. Good game. Thank you. Could have possibly done it sooner than that, but I really was trying to take my time because I did not care. All right, I'm probably gonna have to plug this in, so I'll have to be a second, guys. We have to, uh, oh God, slippery climb. I have a bad feeling that we gotta do this without dying now. Must be coming our way from you. That's my assumption. Because I know it's supposed to start late Saturday into Sunday night. And it's supposed to be really, I don't want to say bad, but I guess bad to what it could be. And yeah, then it must be heading up your guys' way. <sighs> well, the high road is considered one of the hardest levels to get through. I do agree with it, but I think it's even harder to try to get a platinum or a gold. Uh, when I was playing with Saul, we got platinum on, on, I think, almost every level except for one or two. So, I did not honestly think we were going to beat it. So... Now I'm just waiting for this thing to turn on. So I can see. I'm assuming the battery died on this thing. So we'll get Slippery Climb. Which Slippery Climb, the special level is the worst version of this. What, see your brain from in your head, how it t talks to you? Oh, see your brain from in your... Yes, it talks to me way too much. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I gotta beat this one without dying. If this thing ever loads up now, since like I said, I didn't expect for us to win. I expected this to be like two streams or something. I got old man playing card and dogs running my brain. <laughs> I have Yu-Gi-Oh inside mine apparently most of the time. Oh my god. And I gotta start off with that ass hat tomorrow. After this, I might, uh, if I do do a third stream, uh, I should be finishing up Divinity, I hope. Try Story Deck, you might win. I might, but I seriously don't want to deal with it. Not right now. The Story Deck, like, after 5D, yeah, after 5D, Things just got way too... I don't want to say complicated. I can learn it, but... The fact that there's no story makes in the final arc just makes me not want to use it, along with the fact that the decks are so countering. My deck can win. I'm sure it can. I just don't know how many times I'm going to have to go through it to do it. Apparently, I is, like, massively... Has my deck's number, but... All right, so. Yeah, but with no cards in his hand and and one on playing ha field, he wins. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but see, here's the problem. Here's the problem. That's the reverse duel we're doing, right? Which means that I already beat the deck that I, I could use for the story, and I wrecked the story deck on the deck that I would be playing if I played against him. So, if I can wreck that deck, I don't see it doing too good.
Yeah, and see that that's kind of why if I beat the deck with ease and now I'm supposed to play as it, yeah, I don't I don't think I like that idea. Okay, so we're looking at Slippery Climb collects all boxes without dying. Awesome! So... I just... Apologize, though, if it made it seem like I was attacking you. I wasn't. I know you were trying to be helpful. Just as you saw, the bullshit that he was able to pull, just... Uh, super annoying. Oh, shoot. Wait, didn't I die? I have to do this without... Dying. Ever play Crash Team Racer? I did play the original. Uh, that was the only one I had played. And I actually do own Crash Team Racing, whatever variation they put out for this one. So, yes! Oh, the new one. Yeah, I played it a bit with Saul. And I do own it. So, actually, that is after Crash 3 and right before Crash 4. Uh, actually gonna play it. So yes, I have and I own it. Alright, since we're not trying to do the time trial, I can take my sweet ass time like an old lady just can't die okay we should play Mario Kart racing sometime together yeah Mario Kart's fun and ruins. Okay, so. Oof. Well, I mean, if at least if nothing else, I did accomplish getting the gold on uh, the high road. So. I don't know. I mean, Crash can piss me off and it can aggravate me. But I always, most of the time, feel like it's my fault when I, uh, biff it up. Like, you know, with Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I don't really fully feel like it's my fault. Like, I couldn't have done everything that I could have. But this just makes me feel like it is. I still would win with the steering wheel Luigi. <laughs> that you might. Oh, God, I gotta play with the controller that I have. I... Cannot play with the, uh... Oh, well, that works. I cannot play with the Wii. Or not the Wii sticks. The, uh... You know what I'm talking about. The Switch cons. Joy-cons. All right. fact we gotta do this without dying they got among us for five dollars on the switch yeah i saw that uh xbox is actually getting it too i don't remember when but i know pc already has it for the game pass but we're actually getting it for uh the xbox
And phone. Yeah, PC was first to have it. But now you can get it on the Game Pass for Xbox, for PC. Even though I don't under major. Yep. But yeah, you'll be able to play it on console soon enough. Fuck. I should have jumped over when I had the chance. So, if it is gonna come to Xbox, I'm definitely waiting it out. Fuck. But... Uh, I don't know. Then we can play because I have it for PC. <laughs> That's as long as it's cross-platform at that point when you can play it on Xbox. But I don't know if it's gonna cost anything or not for uh, P or for uh, Xbox. And if it does, I'm curious as to how much they're actually gonna put on it. If it's gonna be five as well, or if they're gonna throw new stuff onto it. it is cross-platform? Yes, it is. But I, I mean, I know it's cross-platform in general. But what I mean by that is we don't know if it'll be cross-platform day one on Xbox. They might have some bugs to fix out of it. Probably five dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking since Switch is selling it. And I don't even know why they're selling it for five dollars when you can get it for free on phone it's like what are you throwing in there to make me want to pay five dollars for it on the switch Ooh, that was close they say on web it coming to Xbox later this year. Yeah, see, originally I had heard it for uh, March, but I heard it got pushed back to like August or September now. Huh. Does the bird come back? Take your time, don't rush. I do plan on it. I don't have to rush right now. When I do the time trial, I gotta rush. Well, sometimes I gotta rush, cause like this. <laughs> I mean, you can't take your time on that pattern, but I know what you mean. That'd be nice, though, if we could, uh... See, I'd be happy about that checkpoint. I'd be happy for it. If not for the fact that I have to actually do it without dying. Oh, well, that was hilarious. Fuck. Well, at least we're getting further. Oh, boy.
this game looks hard. It, it can be. I mean, if it wasn't, like I said, if it wasn't for having to uh, do this, because you don't have to beat all stages without dying. Just six of them for those color gems over there. But, you know, you do have to get every box in the level. Like, this is one of the harder stages, for sure. Especially since I do have to do it without, um, dying. If it was just from checkpoint to checkpoint, I'd be, I'd be fine. What have we got? I mean, that was what was up with High Road, too. Like, High Road was because... It's just a hard stage. Yeah, when you start getting towards the end, though, it really does get a little bit hard. But these games are easy compared to Crash 4. When it comes to the perfecting process. Oh. I almost was thinking I shouldn't have tried that, but apparently... Honestly, if you were just to play this game not worrying about completing stuff, I would probably say this game's maybe like a 6 or a 7, and even that's kind of being overly mean to it. But it definitely does challenge you. if we're gonna do it this time I love that you can play the old Nintendo games on switch like Mario 2 and 3 I love it they were my favorite yeah I do love that they have the uh, S NES and uh, oh god I thought it was gonna appear before it did um that it has the SNES and NES emulators yeah uh, except I do like playing the which one? I do like playing the All-Stars ones better than the NES ones. I mean, I, I don't care about graphics at the end of the day, but they are nice little improvements. But, you know, that's just me too. Well. I want to get the new Mario Party game. I used to play them on the GameCube. <sighs> I was going to say, I know I played one of them on the N64. I think I did play a GameCube one. Uh, honestly, I think that's all I played. I don't know. I guess I just never had anybody really to play with, and I didn't see the point of it back in the in the day. I don't know, my Switch library is very low, honestly. Like, I have one of the... I have Pokemon Shield. I have Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Uh, I mean, I have the Mario games and all that, but... I don't know. Oh boy. Did you ever play the Super Nintendo? Oh yeah, Super Nin If we were to do a top three favorite video game systems of all time, the first is the SNES. The second is the PS2, because you could play all the PS1 games on it as well. And then the third was the Xbox 360. 
And the reasons behind that is I think the Super NES was pure perfection. I think they had everything perfectly. Um, and then I think PS2 because I think it was the... Had the most games on it because of the fact that it could play PS1 and there was a lot of innovation. And then 360, no, start, then NES, then Super Nintendo, then Dreamcast. Well, see, the reason why I think 360 was on there was because of the uh, achievements were being born. The Nintendo was all right, but the problem with it was, is the games. They were too difficult. And what I mean by difficult is not necessarily hard. Uh, give me a sec. Not necessarily hard, but like some games were only like three levels, but they made them so difficult so that you couldn't pass them and for rentals too. As for Dreamcast, Dreamcast did have some good games, but it was one of the few systems I never got to play. Okay, so last time I died right there. I was like, do you not move up? When I got the first Xbox One with the long black thing with the webcam, then it stopped working. <sighs> yeah, they aren't so great with the connects. It's kind of why they all failed. Like, I have three connects for the Xbox One. I had a webcam for the 360. See, I have like, I had like five connects all together. I have three right now. And yeah, they would last like about a year. All right, well, thankfully I can die here. All right, the 360 webcam. Now, I heard that one worked pretty all right. I did not have it, but... Ah, that works. That did not work. But I can die here, so I'm not even worried. Oh, that sucks. How'd the 360 cam work for ya? Shoot. I think I know what I should have done. Do you remember punch out for the NES that looked like a laptop and you had to punch the screen? It worked real well. I do remember punch out. I do remember the NES coming out with the device that allowed you to play games kind of virtually well before it could. But originally Punch-Out, uh, I don't think was supposed to use that. But I know what you were talking about. Yeah, no, I heard it did too, actually. In fact, the 
angry video game nerd had done uh, stuff with it and showed it off with Punch Out, and he's like, "Hey, this actually kind of works." Ah, crap, we were so close. I know there was this PS3 game that involved a card game, and it also involved, uh, something. Nope. Oh, did that wrong. I don't know. I have the 360 webcam no more. Ow. Oh. And just been that long that you don't remember. That worked. The console I hate is the GameCube. So why do you hate the GameCube? Because I, 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 I know it's not my top three list, but I definitely love the GameCube. And I will explain my reasons, but I want I want to kind of hear what yours kind of were first. Okay, come on. Darn it. Uh, not a lot of games came out, and the games are too small, the disc, and did not like how small it was. Okay, well, first of all, if there was any system that I think I personally hated, it was the Nintendo 64, and I feel like it was because it had a shit library. But that's just me. Um, I will admit, the GameCube might not have had a lot of games, but if you actually look at a list of it, like, if you type it in media, there is actually quite a bit of games for it. It's just the problem is, is that you could get most of them for, uh, whatchamacallit. You could get most of it for every other system. Hmm. 64 was awesome. Now, see, that's... See, the reason why I liked the GameCube, I will agree the discs were small and whatnot, but first it had a Game Boy Player. And I know SNES did it first, but the fact you could combine it with uh, Pokemon 64 and what, the controller was too big. For the N64, I will agree with that. The controller was, if, if you are talking about the N64, yeah. No, definitely. Oh, the GameCube. I suppose the GameCube was... I don't want to say it was big. I will say it was really just messed up. But it was still better than the N64, in my personal opinion. Ah, I don't know how I'm going to get that one right now. But it had Eternal Darkness, and that's, I think, one of the best N64 games. Uh... It had a lot of good games that it could be poured over on. And some of the best RPGs still, in my opinion. Uh, what what was the major reason, though? Oh, God, this is going to be bad. But, yeah, no, I mean, we have different opinion on that. And I, I definitely do think it's the other way around. But I will agree that the controller was still weird. I think the reason why I like the GameCube over the 64 was because there actually was more games for it and the fact that they were trying to be adults about it. Or it was trying to be more adults. I had Crazy Taxi for the Dreamcast. Ah, uh, so you actually were able to get a hold of the Dreamcast. See, I have Crazy Taxi now. Uh, I either bought it or got it for one of the games from Goldback a while ago, so... Ah, son of a bitch. You know, I'm spending all this time trying to perfect this right here, and you know, I'm gonna die out there on the field, and it's gonna piss me off how much time I spent trying to do this. But, oh yeah, no, Crazy Taxi was amazing. Um, Sonic Adventures.
I remember playing Crazy Taxi uh, when they had demos in the Dreamcast at first come out at store. Oh, I thought Crazy Taxi was the shit. Huh, didn't know that was gonna work. Oh, you had Crazy Taxi for Xbox. I know I've got it. For 360 or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, eventually I'm gonna play it. Oh boy. Darn it. It was okay. I was time trials you had to pick people up in certain times yeah I've never been a big big fan of the time trials one it was just fun to play the game but that was kind of the point of crazy taxi too you had to do those crazy times Ugh, I am I had better perfect this stage I have to get the bonus? I do, because they count for the boxes. I gotta collect all boxes, that includes that. Which brings me up to 45. Oh boy. Unfortunately, I've lost all my uh, masks. Oh boy. This is gonna be scary. Yep, and there I go. And now I gotta do it all over again. So, since we're at the 90 minute mark, I guess we're gonna leave it here. Fucking bullshit. All that work on the bonus level, and for what? Alright, so I guess guess next time we come back to Crash, we'll uh, continue to try to beat the stage without dying. I'm pretty sure we're at almost at the end, though, if I remember correctly. So, if we do come back, we might finish up uh, Divinity. I know we're at the end game, but have fun. Yeah. I wish that I could. But, until then...